Right then, I had to put the battery charger actually on. I did not long ago put a new battery on. It deflated very quickly. Anyway, I'm down here at Longwood. I'm absolutely amazed and, and thankful that inside the wood is actually looking magnificent. With the sunlight, it's just... They're able to photosynthesize in here. Super. The stream is... Look how clear it is. Babbling brook and the trees. Hello, trees. You are looking good. Just got the beetle landed on my head then. <laughs> oh, how we love the countryside. Like I said, I have been up here in the last couple of months. I came, I did the top bit. I, did, well, I went right round it. I actually went there as well. But, um,. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? And lovely with the sunlight. I've had to um, put the literally put the battery charger on, which I haven't had to do for a while because I had a charged up battery. They dis what happens with these batteries? They discharge themselves so quickly. I mean, when I, when I do major hikes, I take another camera. I have um, a little camera that I use for charging up, and it can also be used for videos and photos. Uh, yeah, next summer, I'm getting, after Christmas and the cold weather's out of the way, I'm getting a new camera. I'm getting a much bigger magnification, but it's not going to be a bigger camera as such. It's just going to have bigger zoom and magnification. It needs an, I need an upgrade because my I've got one broken camera that does still right within about two minutes of each other I had to put a new I had to put the battery charger on okay because although I hadn't long ago put a battery another another battery on which was supposed to be full I've done so much video in I think um I've just used more than I thought then after two minutes the memory, no more memory. Fortunately, I spotted it just in time. The memory had to, uh, had to put another memory card in. <sighs> yeah, look at the size of that tree going up and up and up and up and up. It's magnificent, isn't it? The sun's gone in now, and they did say there could be a shower of rain at three o'clock. <sighs> I hope not. I haven't brought the umbrella. And I want to have my cheese and tomato when I get up the top of up the top of the wibbly wobbly lane. I want to have my cheese and tomato and packet of crisps. I love that. And one day I am going to explore up there, you know. Um got all the moss and that. It will be easier in the winter to do it. I was just saying how relieved I am. I don't know what I missed on the video. It wasn't a lot, but I was just saying how relieved I am that the trees on the outside are taking the full brunt of the storms and the rain and the wind that we've had this summer. Record-breaking storms. Record-breaking heat waves. Um, because I was so worried last week. I didn't come in the wood. I went round the edge. And it was quite, I was quite alarmed. And elsewhere that I'd seen trees. <sighs> so I, this is just, they still look a little bit delicate, but um, it has reassured me that this place is safe. It is lush down here though. I mean, somewhere under here, there's got to be, I mean, those trees up there look a bit dead, I must admit. But there's got to be underground stream. I mean, the streams are drying up everywhere. It's true that when I first came in, there was water. More water about, definitely. Unless it's been redirected because of the caving system. It's a, poss it's a possibility they've done something because we get cavers up here. Potholers. It's a big underground caving system here. It links up with... Um, Something more here. Oh. It links up with um, Cheddar Gorge. Oh, 
I've got something there. I don't know what it is, I can't get it out, whatever it is. It's sort of... Oh. I might have to shake my hair out in a minute. It's probably just a... There! there. So I've got something stuck in my hair. What I'll do when I get when we get to the end of air, I'll take the let my hair down and run my fingers through. I can't do it properly. My hair's tied up, see? <sighs> yeah, this has been a good day. It didn't start good me in the beginning because my shortness of breath always when I first go out I get um short of breath going up cheddar hill. Always do. Oh. And I think, God, I'm never going to get round. That's what I say to myself. You're never going to get round, Sheila. You can't breathe. <sighs> but actually doing that hill probably helps my lungs, believe it or not. Although it's, it's difficult, I think to myself, no, it's making them work. And um, what I find sometimes when I've done one of my big walks and I've done hills, I get a load of muck. I don't forget, I was a smoker for years, and I've had to put up with smokers since birth. You know, people used to smoke around you when you were kids, when I was a kid. But I, what I find is I get a lot of, um, I cough quite a bit. There's a lot of muck comes up. See, there's a pothole down there, which I've shown everyone a thousand times. I don't think it's in there. I think I might have got it out now. I can't feel it now. You'd be surprised what you get on you when you get home. When you've been out. Yeah. It's changed, like they said, three o'clock, they said there could be rain. They said that, and it's actually so true. Some of their weather forecasts are amazing. It's not supposed to last, though. Because you've only got to have one downpour, enough to soak you. I haven't brought the umbrella. I haven't got any water. I've got a light waterproof jacket. I've got a cover for me bag, so all my stuff will be safe. But there are. So I'm going up in a minute. I'm going up the wibbly wobbly track to Long, Long Sheepfield, and there's places you can shelter there. It's like really good trees that um, and shrubs. Right then, I think it's time to turn off. We've gone a bit dull. Um, it was. I'm so glad that I caught those lovely green areas a minute ago. Now, before I turn off for pictures, that leads up to the wall and the pathway up there in a minute. Um, you do get deer in here. I just wanted to look at these trees here. These are more exposed, and these ones... Definitely looking fragile, these. But further deep down, no, you're protected. These are going to sleep early. Over and out, everyone. Over and out. Right then, I've had to change direction because right in front of me there. See? Right in front of me, the field I normally have to get in. Is the cows. They're moving up. Um, so I've had to go in this field. Over there there's cows in there. I can't go in there. That field there was um, through this gate here. I don't think they can get in there. But I don't want to bump into them when they go through a gate up the top and they start going down that way because that's the way I've got to go. So, cow negotiation. This is the first time we've had to come in this field ever. They don't normally come this way, but I'm going to be quiet in a minute because I don't want to alarm them. I 
I don't want to alarm them. I mean, I probably could have gone down there and got over the gate and then got over the other gate. But there's cows in there. I'm surrounded by cows. Right, I'm going to turn off again now. So I can't.